What is up guys, it's Anthony, and for those of you that are returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you that are new, hi, my name is Anthony Alsanti, and I want to be your go-to guy for everything fragrance. My job is to instill the love and the passion for the art form that is fragrance that I have into you. If that sounds interesting to you, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I release new videos. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the top five fragrances from the House of Dua Fragrances for the summertime. And for those of you that don't know, Dua Fragrances is a company that is owned and operated by Masam Raza out of California. And what they do is they create inspired expressions of designer and niche fragrances and bring them to a market that is much more affordable. It is fantastic. They do not skimp on any quality and you're getting top notch stuff when you order from Dua Fragrances. I can promise you that. Now I figured that this would be the perfect time to release a summertime fragrance list because where I am in New York the weather is changing, we are starting to experience some heat, we got our first heat wave this week, we had to bust out the air conditioners for the first time this year, and this has been something that I've been waiting for because I love wearing my summer fragrances as I'm sure a lot of you do as well. And some of the fragrances that I'm going to be wearing the most are from the House of Dua Fragrances just by chance, so I figured why not do them in a separate list. Here it comes. Starting off this list at number 5 is a fragrance that is not your typical summertime fragrance. Instead of this fragrance being fruity and citrusy fresh, this one is more clean, soapy, elegant, classy fresh. This fragrance was released in 2009 and it has been a very popular designer scent ever since it was released. But the reason why Dua has an inspired expression of this scent is because since 2009 it has been reformulated, leaving a lot of the customers to be very dissatisfied and not happy with the performance or the smell of the scent. Dua's inspired expression is of YSL's Loam and it is called Rendezvous. Guys, this stuff smells almost exactly like loam. It just has much more amped up notes like the ginger, the bergamot, the tonka, the ozonic notes, the cedar. Even when I just took off this cap, I could smell the power of this one. This one is beast mode. It lasts on my skin for 11 to 12 hours. Projects very well for a good four to five feet for the first two and a half to three hours. When you first spray this one on, you're gonna immediately get reminded of loam. You're going to get that amped up ginger, the bergamot, the cedar at the top. You're just going to get punched in the face with those top notes, something that was really missing from today's version of YSL's Loam. This one can be worn all day long. I wouldn't recommend this one in the wicked, wicked blistering heat as it is not really going to do well because it has a little bit of sweetness. But when you're anywhere from 85 to 95 degrees, I think it's going to work perfectly. If you're over 95 degrees, I'd kind of stay away from this one and look at the other ones that are going to be in this list. But for a cooler summer's day, this one is going to do wonders for you guys, get you compliments left and right. Just a perfect one. If you like YSL's Loam, I highly recommend you Rendezvous. Coming in at number four on this list is from a very high-end and well-renowned niche fragrance house. The fragrance that this one is supposed to be imitating is Mason Francis Kerjan Aqua Universalis Forte, and Dua's version is called Aqua Bravada. Guys, this stuff, when you spray it on, you're going to immediately get that Sicilian, Bergamot, Amalfi, Lemon, Jasmine, and White Florals. This one is a very floral and citrusy fragrance. It is going to last you 10 to 11 hours. This one has great performance, great projection for the first two and a half hours. I'd say five feet, four or five feet, just like Rendezvous. This one is a very, very great fragrance. If I could compare this one to a designer fragrance, I'd have to say it smells like a niche version of Versace's Man Au Fresh. They both have white florals in them with very prominent citrus notes. This one is just a absolutely well blended, perfected fragrance that I cannot do any wrong with in the summer. If you wear this one in the summer, you're gonna get compliments. You can wear this one daytime, you can wear this one nighttime, you can wear this one casually, and you can wear this one formally in the summertime as well. This is an all around summer gem. I think every person that likes Dua fragrances needs to have Aqua Bravada in their collection. Coming in at number three on this list is from a very high-end niche fragrance house, probably the most prominent niche fragrance house of niche fragrance houses. This one is from Creed. The original fragrance is called Aventus Cologne, and Dua's version is called Poseidon's Cologne. 
Now, when Creed first released Aventus Cologne, I had to get my hands on a sample. A reviewer at the time had a code for a free sample. I used that code, I got a free sample from Creed, and I absolutely loved it. I loved the way they took the more citrusy and fruity components of Aventus and made it into its own fragrance with more ambergris and musk in it, whereas the original Aventus was more woodsy, had more birch tar in it. This one really focused on the bright elements of Creed Aventus, and I really loved it. It makes it into a summer staple. This one is just fantastic. But I looked at the Aventus Cologne on Creed's website and the price tag was outrageous. I immediately got off that website. I went to Dua Fragrances to see if they had anything cooking up. And to my surprise, they had it right on the website. The first thing that came up was Poseidon's Cologne from Creed Aventus Cologne. This one is just absolutely beautiful. Guys, I compared this one side by side with Aventus Cologne and it performs so much better than Aventus Cologne. It is ridiculous, it is more bright, it is more in your face, it projects very well. This one lasts about 13 hours. This one is beast mode. It projects for a good three, four, maybe even five hours, three to four feet. This one is just absolutely beautiful. It has notes of pineapple, green apple, mint, mandarin orange, patchouli, musk, benzoin. Guys, there's not enough good things that I can say about this fragrance. If you are a fragrance fan or you are a fan of Dua fragrances, I highly recommend you get your hands on Poseidon's Cologne because this is one of the best that they have. If you like Aventus Cologne, this one is a better version than Aventus Cologne. That's all I gotta say about this fragrance. On to the next one. Coming in at number two on this list is a hybrid from Dua. For those of you that don't know, Dua Fragrances does hybrids and tribrids of fragrances, which is basically bringing two or three fragrances together into one. If you haven't checked out the hybrid fragrances that Dua has or the hybrid collection, I highly recommend recommend you do that as they have some gems in there let me tell you right now but this one for the summer stands out to me exponentially this one is a mixture of two very popular niche fragrances in Creed's Virgin Island Water and Mason Francis Kerjan Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum Dua's version is called Caribbean Casino Guys, I was very skeptical of how this one would smell. It was very hyped, and usually when fragrances get very hyped, I get let down a lot of the time. This one did not let me down at all. This one has beautiful coconut, lime in the forefront. It just smells like you're in the Caribbean, and the almond notes that you get from Mason Francis Kerjan Baccarat Rouge 540 is just absolutely rounding out the fragrance, making it something, taking it to a new level. It's just beautiful. When I was at the barber shop, the barber said to me, Anthony, don't take this the wrong way, but you smell absolutely fantastic and I need to know what you're wearing because I need to buy it. That is just smooth stuff right there. And I agree with him, this stuff is smooth. It projects beautifully. It projects for a good four to five hours at three to four feet. This one is beast mode. It lasts for 13 plus hours. As most duos do, they don't all last 13 plus hours, but a lot of them do. More than any other fragrance house that I've noticed so far in my fragrance journey, this one is just absolutely beautiful. It's got notes of bergamot, lime, mandarin, ylang ylang, white musk, ambergris, and almond. Guys, this one is just beautiful. If you want an all around fragrance that you can wear in the summer and make it be a dumb reach, doesn't matter where you're going, what you're doing, this one is going to do wonders for you. Gotta get your hands on Caribbean Casino. Now finally coming in at number one on this list is the first fragrance that I ever smelled from the house of Dua Fragrances. This one really got me hooked to Dua Fragrances. When I first got it, I was immediately blown away by the quality, the projection, and just the overall good vibes that this one brought. This is a mixture of Roja Parfums Elysium Eau de Parfum and Elysium Parfum Cologne. This one is called Supernova. Guys, if you are a fan of Dua and don't have Supernova, what are you doing? This one is one of their best without a doubt, especially for the summertime. This one is a perfect reach. If you want one fragrance from this list, you need to have Supernova without a doubt. This one works all occasions, all any time of the day, any heat, just absolutely beautiful. If I could compare this one to anything, I would say it smells like a more zesty, fruitier version of Aventus. It gives you the same vibes, but this one is more bright and more zesty, like I said. The notes in this one are grapefruit, lime, lemon, bergamot, musk, lavender, apple, juniper berry, benzoin, vanilla, labdanum, and ambergris. That is not even the full note list. This has a ridiculously long note list, but let me tell you what, you can only pick out a few of the notes in here. Maybe like the grapefruit, the lemon, the bergamot, the musk, the ambergris. 
It is just absolutely beautifully well blended. This one lasts for 14 plus hours. 14 plus hours for a freshie is the best I've ever noticed. This one has the best performance for a freshie that I've ever noticed. Projection is four to five feet for a good three and a half to four hours, maybe even four and a half hours. This one is just absolutely beautiful. If you spray this one on, you're gonna be in bliss when you smell it on yourself. This one is just absolutely, absolutely knock your socks off good. If you want one summer cologne from Dua, get your hands on Supernova, guys. This one is just going to knock your socks off without a doubt. Now, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you could do me a huge favor, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below what your top fragrance from Dua is for the summer. I want to see it, and I want to give you guys some feedback. So, guys, I hope to see you next time. Keep on rocking, keep on smelling great, and I'll see you next time.